Hey y'all, hey, Erica with Time to Shrink. I just got back from Trader Joe's. I have a huge like $340 haul. This is gonna be a vacation haul. When you're seeing this, we'll already be back home, but I have a huge haul and this is just part of what we're taking on vacation. I'll share the rest of it as I pick it up. All right. This is our Trader Joe's haul. I've got it on this big table because, well, there's a lot of stuff. So, we're going to go from left to right. Y'all, if you get triggered by non-keto food, you might want to go off. I know I usually do. Excuse me. Nothing there is for you. No, ma'am. I do not force myself when I'm on vacation to follow any type of special eating. I am, however, going to intermittent fast and then just eat what I want for dinner as my plan, but not eat breakfast and lunch. Just so you know what my plan is for vacation this week, but let's just jump into it. They had this sliced French brioche, which I thought the kids would like for sandwiches for lunches, or I could make them some like French toast with this. I won't be eating this. I won't be eating most of what I'm showing you truthfully, but let's just go through it all anyways. Okay. We got some cookies. These are crispy, crunchy, gluten-free chocolate chip cookies. So I may have a few of those they're, so they're, because they're gluten-free. Got a few different kind of chips. These are chili lime chips. And we got some dark russet kettle cooked potato chips and then some dipper chips. So we got three bags of chips. My kids are gonna be so excited because I never buy chips, y'all. Got some pot stickers, two different kinds of pot stickers. We are going to do like an Asian night one night. So I've got a bunch of mandarin orange, a bunch of this mandarin orange chicken. We absolutely love this. The kids all really, really like this. So I got that. Caroline loves um, chow mein, like these kind of noodle dishes. So I got that for her and for, you know, whoever wants that. I forgot to just skip this. Trader Joe's has the best sunscreen, y'all. It is my favorite. It is inexpensive. It works really, really well. The ingredient list is not that bad. So highly recommend that. So I spent $30 just on sunscreen. I absolutely love this mushroom medley. This with a side of grilled steak is one of my favorite meals. Absolutely love it. So I got two of those. A lot of these are stacked in multiples. Two things of pasta. We're just gonna do a pasta night. One night will be easy. Three different kind of ravioli. And then I got this just as a treat from one of the kids. Pepperoni pizza mac and cheese bowl. I'm super curious how tasty that is. I bet it's so good. So good. Sounds good to me. Got some coffee to take with us to the beach. Couple things of marinara to go with pasta nights. I got this just to have at home. I have not ever bought harissa, like pre-made up harissa, and I think this could make a really fun dinner. So I'm not taking this with me, but I got it just because I saw it and I have not seen that before. Caroline needed more instant coffee. She likes to use instant coffee for things. So got some more of that. We got a spicy taco sauce, again, not to take, just to have here because I've not seen this and I thought maybe everybody would like it. Some tartar sauce to take and some cocktail sauce to take because the beach obviously will be doing fish and shrimp and that kind of stuff. Maple syrup because I'm gonna do pancakes for the kids one day. Olive oil, just a small one to take. Mustard, a small one to take. Dipping sauce for the pot stickers and tomato ketchup with black summer truffle. My husband picked that up because he was just super curious. All right, so that was all of the canned things. Moving back, I'm planning to do a grilled chicken over this salad one night. This is so good if you haven't tried it. Lemony arugula basil salad kit, so, so good. So we'll have this with grilled chicken one night. One night when I make pasta for the kids, I'm gonna take zucchini with me to have mine over zucchini because I try very hard not to do gluten. Even if I'm not sticking solidly to keto, things that have gluten, I will probably myself eat something a little bit different. So love this. Caesar salad, this can become gluten free if we just toss the croutons. So I got two of those. Two things of buffalo ranch chopped salad. I thought these would be good for lunches for my husband. We got a few things of crackers. I got some cornbread mix to do like hush puppies and banana bread mix. And a, these are all for the kids. Banana bread mix, buttermilk mix, buttermilk pancakes. And these I've never seen, Neapolitan JoJo's. I just thought they might think those were interesting. And then I've heard good things. I've heard people say good things about this banana bread mix. So I thought we would try that. I got some of these olives because they're easy to take down to the beach, just in a container as a snack. 
and same thing with these cheese sticks love 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 these oven baked bites or cheese bites with truffle they're so so good just got some butter got some mozzarella marinated mozzarella balls brie a bunch of different cheeses here this is jason's favorite dip from the Trader Joe's, so I got that. It's really tasty. And the salamis, yeah, a bunch of salamis to slice up. And then to go with the mozzarella balls, I got some tomatoes and basil. I thought that would make a really good salad to go with something one evening. I got some pork belly. I think I'm gonna make this now, not take it with me. I think I'm gonna make this for tonight. And then I got a key lime pie to take and a couple little apple pies. This is for the kids. And some strawberries to take to make Moscow mules probably and I guess people can just eat it as well got a couple bottles all right so here is what our Trader Joe's haul was Andrew's finding goodies he needs to go away otherwise they won't make it with us so we got a lot of good stuff this is gonna make for some good eating I just like when I'm going out of town to the beach if it's only a couple hours to take stuff with me it just saves time more time on the beach, less time in grocery stores, and because of everything that's going on right now, we probably won't be going out to eat at all either, so I'll need to be having things that are easy to make at the house. Part two of getting ready, blah, 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 blah. part two of getting ready for vacation. This is from Lidl. This was about $116, I think, if I'm remembering right. So I'm gonna start in the back. Again, y'all, this is vacation food. It's not stuff we always buy. That's kind of what vacation is for us anyways. We let the kids get chips and brownies and cookies and junk that we don't allow at home. So we've got some salt and vinegar for my little man is his favorite. They had these cool little, this is from Lidl. I don't know if I said that. They had these little containers that I thought would be good for storing things in my kitchen. So we got three of those to try out. Got some foil to take with us. We got a bunch of just regular tortilla chips and some pork rinds to go with the dips that we've already bought and some that I'm going to show you. We got just some big things of water to have. We already got a lot of water bottles. Got a bunch of limes. Jason's going to be a lime, a squeeze-in machine tonight so that we can take fresh lime juice with us for cocktails. Jason got this thing of Virginia peanuts for him and my father. They'll both really enjoy that. I got a whole stack of chocolates. These are not for the trip. These are to restock. My son Jackson loves these kind of chocolates and my daughter actually likes these. They, they're really inexpensive. I think like $2 a bar from Lidl and it's really good chocolate. Coming over here, they had some really cool sauces, y'all. This one is a fire roasted chipotle, and then this one is a hatch chili, and then this one is an is this one is harissa, an har harissa salsa, harissa is it harissa or harissa? I don't know, but I'm super excited to try that, and I will be definitely having some of this with probably some of these chips. I will not be doing keto while I'm gone on vacation, like I said. I'm going to try and stay away from the gluten though because gluten really messes with my tummy so I'm going to stick to no gluten but I am going to allow some treats so I'll be having some of this salsa with that. I did buy some pork rinds too. My dad and my mom, Jason and I are all basically low carb but I know we're going to splurge a little this week. We got some berries. Got a thing of beef shaved steak. I think I might make this for dinner tonight and do like a Philly cheesesteak style thing with some peppers and onions and that kind of thing, just like a quick dinner tonight. And then they had these, we really like Lidl's grass-fed organic beef. Pretty much every single week, one or, one or other, can't talk, pretty much every single week one of their steaks is on sale. We've not tried the sirloin steak from them before, so we got two of those. So I think we'll make those up and this tonight just kind of have a hodgepodge dinner but everything else is going with us i got some soprasada lidl also is an amazing place for like lunch meat type things like soprasada salami so we got that this is my favorite salami with the pepper on the outside we got some copa so these three and then what else did i get moving over here this is my little man's favorite type of cookie so I bought him some cookies I got these nut thins for me so if I want to have some crackers with my cheese when we do the cheese and meat night I can have some that are gluten free so these are gluten free and they're super delicious I got these for my son he hasn't had them in a long time and really enjoys them and then I got a bunch of bacon I'm gonna go ahead and cook up all of this bacon and take it with me no ma'am no 
No thank you. This is not for you. I'm gonna cook up all of this bacon and take it with me cooked. The kids like to put it on sandwiches and eat it with eggs and do all different kind of ways, but if I just go ahead and heat it up in the air fryer today, then when we're ready for it, it'll just be ready. I'm trying to do as minimal amount of cooking as possible. So there is the rest of our haul for our summer little five day getaway with my parents and us. All right, y'all, we are prepping for heading out on vacation. I've got all of my food sitting here. Well, most of it. Because we're going out of town during this whole pandemic thing, we don't wanna have to be going out anywhere other than just our house and the beach so we are taking a lot a lot a lot of food i don't always do this every year but i'm totally doing it this year let me show you our meal plan and kind of talk about what we have planned i am going to take this with me somebody just sent me this to trial it's a new air fryer so we're taking this because i thought that would be a nice thing to have the house and I, it needs to be washed. Where is it? It's in here somewhere, but I'm taking my knife. I always take my knife. Yeah, there it is. I always take my knife. I'm working on making some bacon right now to take. And then I always take like essential spices. Obviously I can't take all of it, but since I kind of know my plan, I've already pulled out like some essential spices to take with me. And then one thing not shown is we take a lot of water. As crazy as it is to be going out of town right now, it's a little extra crazy because there's this hurricane happening that may or may not come close to where we're gonna be. So we may have some days of torrential downpours. And in the South, every time a hurricane comes, everybody runs to the store to get water and bread. Not just like a little bit of water, but like massive amounts. Because for some reason, some people totally forget that hurricanes happen here and that we should be repaired every single year. Like, I just don't get it, y'all. I always, like a month or so before hurricane season, start prepping, start buying waters and waters and waters and freezer stuff and make sure our, our um, what's the thing if the power goes out? Generator. Our generator is good to go. Like all of that kind of stuff. You don't do it like the week before or a couple days before. And this one just looks like a little one. It doesn't look like a big deal, but it looks like it's gonna bring us a lot of rain. So that's another reason that I am taking a ton of stuff with me, y'all. So let me go show you my meal plan. So this is my meal planner. This is a freebie that I have that I made because I couldn't find something that I really, really loved. So y'all are more than welcome to print this. It's always in the description, it's free. But this is what I use to plan. The first up here is just like the dates and what the plan is. I just wrote beach week and then we go into what's for dinner. The first night I'm planning just to do like a meat and cheese like charcuterie type board with crackers and everything. Next night I'm doing grilled chicken, which we already have. I'm taking that with me over a lemon arugula salad. The lemon arugula salad from Trader Joe's, y'all, it is freaking delicious if you've never tried it. One night we're gonna do spaghetti, just like a meat sauce over pasta, and I'm bringing some zucchini to do for myself because I am not planning to stay keto this week, y'all, but I am planning to watch my sugar and I am planning to stay gluten-free because the gluten really can mess with me. Then we're planning to have a seafood night, and then truthfully, this may be another seafood night. It just kind of depends on what's happening. I'm taking some frozen mandarin chicken from Trader Joe's and some frozen fried rice, so if that doesn't get eaten, I can easily bring that back home and then another let use up what's in the fridge type night or seafood the seafood will be stuff that I make typically when we go on vacation we do eat out of our house we always get like an Airbnb or something like that something that has a full kitchen and we generally eat most of our meals out of the kitchen that's just something we like to do we'd rather spend a little more money on a nicer place and then less money going out also we just want to be bums like we want to like super bum it you know and not have to put on nice clothes and not have to put on makeup not have to go fight crowds and that's on a normal year. This year, I don't wanna be anywhere near crowd. We're taking all our groceries, not planning on going anywhere. I am planning on going to like the local seafood place and picking up fresh off the boat seafood, taking it home and making it. That is probably the farthest outside of the place, outside of our particular home that we'll be. But I do think we're gonna go ahead and let ourselves get fresh seafood. 
I'll probably just send my dad or my husband, not everybody, and the rest of us will just stay contained. Mm -hmm. And that's a way that we can still do this because this is a trip that my mom had planned. She already had the place. So we're just gonna make it work. It's gonna be really good. And then in the morning, I will show you what the car looks like and I'll just take you along on our vacation this week, show you what we're eating, show you how things are going. I would say we have successfully packed. It's really, really not that bad, y'all. We did good. It's so bright, y'all. We are getting ready to head to the beach. Got everything packed in the car. I'm shocked we got everything in. No roof rack or anything. It's only five days, but when you go to the beach, you have to take everything, you know? And y'all saw like half this car is groceries. Oh my gosh, y'all. I've never seen these in my life. Apparently, it's a big thing in the middle school crowd. My husband's a teacher, but he saw them and bought them for my son. Wrap snacks, y'all. Notorious B.I.G. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, let's try the Notorious B.I.G. chip. It's good. Honey jalapeno. Yum. Hey y'all, it is the last day of our vacation. I didn't end up vlogging at all. We just enjoyed our time together, but I wanted to show you what we have left. Tonight is our last night. I've already made dinner and we're leaving, packing up and leaving in the morning. So I just kind of wanted to show you how far that food that we bought spread and how much I still have left. Cause I have a lot. Let me show you. All right, so here is the leftovers of dinner. We did like a pasta night. Got some cheese tortellini, a little bit of chicken. I made some garlic bread with our leftover bread. We've got some zucchini going on here in our air fryer. I am making some zucchini fries. We're gonna see how those turn out. Let's see. Up here, we have some Creole sauce, which I totally thought I would use with um, making like a shrimp Creole, but didn't and not, did not end up happening. We've got our spices, which absolutely I needed, and I will be taking home with me, of course. A Little bit of pasta sauce left. See, we've got a bunch of popcorn. I don't think anybody had any popcorn. A couple of olives left. We have a tiny bit of bread left and a bunch of pasta. Did not end up using that. And then a bunch of crisp breads. Y'all, I know I told you that I was planning to stay gluten free and I was gonna intermittent fast and just eat whatever I wanted in the evening. Yeah, that didn't happen. It was a carb fest. It was a full on carb fest for me, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. So who knows what my weight's gonna be tomorrow, but I don't even care. I'm just gonna get right back on track and it'll be fine. So we brought tons of chips, if you remember, and what we have left is some tortilla chips. Nobody opened the pork rinds. Um, got some Zip Fizz left, a salsa up there, and then a bunch of those crackers. Not too many of those got eaten. And just like a few things here. Cereal that didn't get eaten, which is kind of shocking actually. We have a fried rice left. They did end up going to the store for some ice cream because I did not bring that. We've got a chicken lo, lo mein left. We've got some alcohol left that we've got in here. Not a whole lot though because we were enjoying ourselves. We've got a key lime pie that we're gonna eat tonight for dessert. We've got a little bit of fruit left, a few eggs left, a little bit of buffalo dip left, not a whole lot. Um, in here is all of our dips. They're pretty much empty, but there's a little bit. We've got some ham and cheese left. People didn't really do a whole lot of sandwiches. Most of our drinks are gone, y'all. There's still a little bit left. I ended up buying too many salads. So I have a lemon arugula left. I have a Caesar left. Um, we may open those tonight because half of us have not eaten yet. So that may be tonight. Our cheese, we've got some left. It's got a little bit of bacon left little bit of salami left but not like a ton and then just in the door I've got a ton of milk left because nobody had cereal uh, a little bit of salsa one bottle of wine left which was probably gonna go down tonight and just a few condiments so that is what we have left of what we brought y'all so and that is what we have left of what we brought y'all I brought I don't know a little over four hundred dollars worth of groceries we did get some seafood one night other than that we totally ate here they did pick up a couple tubs of ice cream because the kids wanted that but pretty much we just stayed in and we went to the beach we stayed in the house and we're gonna pack up and head home tomorrow I just wanted to show you what we had left and of course we'll just take all of it home with us so none of it will be to waste so that was our beach vacation haul and what we used of it. I will see y'all again soon. Bye y'all. Be blessed.